Pilau just gave us some details on what to expect for the OnePlus mystery phone for CES. Apple is apparently already making the move to optical fingerprint scanners, which hints to Touch ID, and a possible launch date for the Huawei P40 series was just confirmed by Huawei CEO. I'm Jaime Rivera, and one, thank you for your birthday wishes, and two, what is your current daily driver smartphone? Let us know in the comments down below. This is Pocket Now Daily, sponsored by the Roborock S5 Max. The official news today begin with deals, and yet again, I am going to honor Amazon for their capabilities of keeping them coming. Right now, the TicWatch Pro is currently $90 off, leaving it at $160 with a battery life that lasts up to 30 days, obviously depending on the mode. You can get the Lenovo IdeaPad for $61 off, leaving it at $300 for the 128GB SSD variant. HP's latest 15.6-inch laptop is currently $190 off, leaving it pretty much at $340. And finally, the MacBook Air is available for $699, which is a $300 discount for the i5 variant. I actually want to jump on that last deal. That is crazy. Now, this is rather interesting as, you know, a lot of people are jumping into the smart home bandwagon, particularly our sponsor is one of those major players. But it's rather interesting how when it comes to Google and Apple and other companies, usually their devices don't talk to themselves and that's apparently going to change. Google just announced that they will start working together with Apple and Amazon and other companies to form the new connected home group managed by the Zigbee Alliance. The group will focus on bringing market tested technologies to develop on a new open smart home connectivity standard based on the internet protocol. This would ensure a connection between devices from different brands, apps, and cloud services. The service will start working at some time in 2020, and I do hope that it's backwards compatible, because that's gonna be a major deal. Now, we continue getting more leaks of the Oppo Reno 3 5G, but uh, actually the new non-pro variant has just emerged. We get details on the phone's design and spec sheet, and apparently it'll pack the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 6 5G, 8 gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage. We also also see a quad camera setup at the back with the fourth sensor probably being a time of flight sensor. No word on when to expect it, but uh, given the timing of these leaks, I actually think it's going to happen sooner rather than later. I'll keep you posted. Now, if there's one thing that I love is when we get Richard Yu on the record from Huawei, because if you ever wanted to know leaks on their own products, He's the right guy to do it, but still, his presentation skills are great. And uh, right now we get details on the P40 series. According to you, we should expect this device or this lineup on Q1 2020. The report claims that the devices will arrive late March with upgrades that include the design, improved camera quality, performance improvements, a better AI functionality, etc. The P40 will bring Android 10 instead of Harmony OS, but it won't bring Google services installed unless something happens with the trade war, which apparently was just uh, fixed in phase one. We'll keep you posted as soon as phase two comes around and hopefully that means better deals for Huawei. Now, this is rather interesting as yes, Apple is one of those companies that moved away from Touch ID on their smartphones, but then again, I mean, they've been bringing it to their laptops in a very interesting approach. See, there's a new pen that shows that Apple switched out of the capacitive fingerprint scanners on Macs for an optical sensor with a 16 inch MacBook Pro. This means that Apple is already trying out sensors that work under displays that could be implemented to bring Touch ID back on iPhone probably in the iPhone 12 in 2020. This is a start as we know that Apple is planning to bring back Touch ID on the iPhone screen with the Qualcomm sensor. But the thing about it is we have to remember that Qualcomm sensor is ultrasonic. It's not optical. So uh, we'll see exactly what this patent is going to end up being. As you know that Cupertino, they do a lot of those and don't end up launching the products in the end. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with OnePlus and what to expect from the company at their possible announcement at CES 2020. I mean, in the past, we heard about their mysterious device, and we obviously started speculating around what it could be, but Pete Lau just confirmed that the company will launch a new concept phone, uh, which they are dubbing the OnePlus Concept One. No other details were given, aside from the fact that we should expect new technology and an alternative design for the future of smartphones. Think about it as in today's question, I mean, right now we're dealing with foldables and with so many things. Let us know in the comments, I mean, what would you want to see from that concept OnePlus device? Because in my case, I'd love a fast phone that's not another foldable. I'm tired of seeing foldables as concepts. 
but then again, I don't know if there's any other option of creativity. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Today's episode of the Pocket Now Daily is sponsored by the Roborock S5 Max. There's really no better time to buy a smart vacuum cleaner because uh, now they are much more than just gadgets that bounce around your floor. The Roborock S5 Max uses laser guidance to scan your room, vacuum it, and mop it. Yes, it also mops. The scanning helps it identify which surface requires what treatment and where not to get stuck doing it. Schedule it to clean, select rooms, all from the application. Learn more about the Roborock S5 Max in the link in the description as right now it's currently dropped in price from $599 to just $539 on Amazon. Again, more in the description. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles as you see me play around with these phones. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.